Okay, so let's talk about the Spotify widget on the iPhone. If you are a Spotify user, you may be interested in the way how it works. So let me just show it to you right now. If you just locate your Spotify app, you open it up and you want to play some music within the app, you can use it normally. However, the important thing is that if you consider the widget, quote widget, to be the music controls, well, the music controls are available in here in the control center. It doesn't matter if you play it with the Apple Music or if you use Spotify or any other web player, doesn't matter. This little widget is gonna allow you to control it. So if that is the point, you don't even need to add any kind of Spotify widget. You can just control the music, pause it, forward, backwards, whatever you want through this very widget right here. So that's easy to do. However, Snapchat has its own widgets, which you can put on the home screen on the iPhone as well. So that's very interesting. Naturally, at first, you need to have the Spotify app installed. Without it, you will not have the option to add any widget to the home screen in terms of Spotify. But once you do have it, just hold down on the screen anywhere. And in the upper left corner, there is the plus icon. So click on the plus icon. And at first, you have the search tab where you can type in Spotify right away if you want to, or you can scroll all the way through all of the available apps and suggestions to this section where all apps are sorted alphabetically, and you can find the Spotify right here. So here it is, the Spotify is the app which we wanna click on. And there are basically two sizes or two options for Spotify widgets. The first one is a small square, and the second one is like a larger rectangle, but you can see that the description is exactly the same right here, and it's just showing you or gives you like quick access to recently played songs, playlists, artists, albums, podcasts, whatever you listen to. So that's really good, but once you just choose the widget, click on add widget right there, and it's just going to show up on the home screen. You can move it around just like a basic normal widget that is okay but once you're done just click on done and now you're like this so you can get inside of the app through the widget if you want to but after you start to use the app a lot more it's going to show you a couple of different buttons here for different albums and different songs to play like without even having to open up the spotify app so which is one click from the home screen you will be able to access those specific playlists or tracks or whatever it is. So that's all the stuff that you need to know about it. And before I wrap up the video, I need to show you this, of course, which is the Fox Tech educational platform. I've created this, which you can join for free. The link is going to be down below in the description. Should not worry about that. And inside you can watch some courses on video editing, for example, or in-depth iPhone guides. More stuff is going to be added in the future. So definitely go ahead and join it. Right now, it's free to do so, so yeah. So I'm going to wrap up the video right now. If you found it useful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to Fox Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.